All right, so I'm here with Tony from a couple bands. A couple bands. A couple bands, Mun Municipal Waste and Iron Reagan, who are playing here today. That's right. Not this picnic bench, which is a very nice bench. Lovely, lovely picnic bench. At the barbecue. So uh, tell me what it means to you to be playing the uh, fifth annual barbecue. Oh, it means the world. I mean, it's a tribute to one of my best friends. So, you know, fucking A. What is, uh, <laughs> it means everything, you know. It's a without fucking... getting too deep into it, I mean, what does Dave Rocky and Guar mean to you um, as a musician and as a yeah? Musician? I would say you know they taught me mostly everything I know as far as like touring goes, and um, basically had a crash course with those guys. Like one of the first municipal waste tours. That was like one of the first bigger things we've ever done, and uh, yeah, I was seriously a fucking crash course of like, oh my god, like how do you react to it? Crowds. I mean, we've gotten gotten booed off the stage of them, and then you just kind of, you know, you fucking you learn. You roll the punches. And you grow, you grow up. I really grew up like musically with that band. A huge influence to me as people and business people. Everything they fucking do, every aspect of them is um, extremely admirable. Do you think that uh, you'd be where you are today without Guar being a band in Richmond? I would be, but probably in a different place. Probably more successful. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Way more <laughs> <I'm just> kidding. <laughs> successful. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Like, um, yeah, it would be different, you know. Like, I think Richmond itself would be a different place. You know, they've taught that. You know, they've, you know, them and Avail to me are like the biggest musical influences as far as like, um, maybe not musical, but like, like. Um, just the the work, like the labor you put into doing something you love, and uh, both those bands to me like made me the person I am. You know? Right. What other bands are you psyched to see today? Uh, Occultist played. I, I was really excited to see them. We toured with them already. They're they're fucking awesome. Loincloth. Um, I really hope Goat Whore makes it. Those guys, they broke down in Jersey last night around two in the morning, and they're fucking they got it fixed. They're on the way. If we have to play 40 more Iron Reagan songs to get them here, we will. But uh, I really hope they make it. Excellent. Give me. That's a, also 12 minutes of material. Yeah. <laughs> uh, give me a pull quote, I guess, about uh, about Iron Reagan and the the new record. Oh uh, yeah, I said pull quote. Um, Iron Reagan, the tyranny of will is coming out in a couple of weeks. I don't even know the fucking date because I'm brain dead. But yeah, I'm very proud of it. It's excited and it's on Relapse Records, and they're hot. <laughs> Beautiful. What led you to, um, you know, have the two bands? Like, you just too much, Waze too much talent for one band? <laughs> uh, my buddy Ryan, I grew up with him. He's, he's the drummer. We, we just, like, have been talking about doing a fucking band for, like, a, literally a decade. And uh, he quit Darkest Hour, and I was like, let's fucking do a fuck around band. Let's have some fun. I wanted to, I wanted to play more local shows, you know? Yeah. Um, Waste is so busy, and, and we don't really play Richmond too much. Um, and I just wanted to play house shows and do shit like that. And started, and it just kind of took, grew into its own monster. And it's awesome. I'm, I'm fucking excited it to be where no. it is now. <laughs> Absolutely not. Excellent. <laughs> but it's exciting. It's very. It's a. It just kind of reminds you when the Waste started getting weird, weird stuff happening to them. It's. It's a whole new exciting experience, and I'm so glad that I'm doing it with like one of my best friends. Not only a couple of my best friends, man. Phil's my fucking dog, and uh, I mean, I, I'm I love everyone in, in, in that band. I love everyone in all my bands. God damn it! Like you love everyone. <laughs> Everybody just started crying. I don't know. It's an emotional <laughs> time, man. It's fucking. It's it a actually tribute, is kind tribute of an to Dave. Time. It's a tribute to it's Dave. It's a strangely emotional time. It really is. Cool, man. You take for granted, man. You're in, a, you're in a van with people all the fucking time, and you know you fucking play all these shows, and you know I fucking we did weeks and weeks with fucking Guar, and yeah. you know like I don't know. You take for granted being with somebody all the time, and then now they're gone, and you know it's just maybe that's why I'm a little emo right now. <laughs> cool. Thanks for ending this on a complete down note. I appreciate that. <laughs> I'm gonna Sorry. cry a little bit. I'm glad I'm wearing sunglasses because you can't see the tears. <laughs> Sorry, buddy.